Welcome to the Improving the Delicious Bookmark button with jQuery screencast. We're going to assume you have a basic understanding of jQuery. If you're new to jQuery, we recommend watching our free introduction screencast on jQuery. While we'll be specifically talking about delicious here, the techniques can be used in other scenarios. Sometimes we want to offer users the ability to bookmark pages or articles on delicious. Delicious provides bookmark this on delicious buttons on their website. However, their code is inline and obtrusive. When JavaScript is switched off, you can't bookmark the page easily. Let's fix that. Download the zip file under this video on screencasts.org to follow along. Here we have two articles titled Introduction to jQuery and Using Ajax with jQuery and some lorem ipsum text. This is what you'd expect on a typical blog-like site when visiting their homepage. Our code has to work in this type of environment as well as on the article pages. Included in the code are two of the bookmark this on delicious links, but they're both the same. Also, if you were to click these links now, they would bookmark the same page as it uses JavaScript to determine the path from the location. First, let's make this code unobtrusive. So, in our script tag, after jQuery is included, let's select the anchors that have the class delicious. Let's move this code from the onClick attribute to the click event handler. Let's add class equals delicious to our delicious links, as they don't have a class at the moment. Great, now let's figure out what's going on in this window.open. The code provided by delicious uses the encode URI component method to encode the URL and title of the article. We'll need to do this on the server. In Ruby on Rails, when outputting a link, you do something like this. Or, in PHP, you do something like this. You'll notice we've included a commented out static URL before each of the delicious links, which includes the URL encoded parameters. Let's now replace the current delicious URLs with these new URLs, which will function correctly if JavaScript is turned off. Now, let's alter our jQuery code to drop the JavaScript generated URL and replace it with this.href. And that's it. When we open up our browser and click on these two links, we see that the correct URLs are being bookmarked, and as a bonus, when JavaScript is switched off, we can still bookmark the pages in an easy way. We're going to be covering more APIs from various web services and social networks in upcoming episodes, including an episode extending what we've done here by adding a delicious bookmark count for each article. Thanks for watching! Subscribe to our RSS feed, follow us on Twitter, and please leave any comments, questions, or suggestions for new screencasts in the comments below. If you like our videos and think your friends, followers, or colleagues would benefit from seeing them, please feel free to share via any of the links below the video. We really appreciate your support. See you next time!